<laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Stream Void Podcast, episode 94. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I'm, wow. That's better. Sorry, I threw you <laughs> off your game. You totally threw me off. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> I am Mikey T, and of course, across from me is Curb Stomp. Hello. You can find us everywhere under our respected monikers. Yes, sir. And you are listening to the Stream Void Podcast. This is a show about life and video games and everything in between. Yep. It's true. Welcome to the show. It is uh, the 20th of August. God damn, is it already 20th yeah. of August? 20th of August, 2022. Fuck. Doesn't feel like summer. There wasn't enough smoke. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually quite nice. Yeah, I, I for find a change. That to be very, it's a refreshing very nice. change after like the last six years of just <laughs> burning province every year. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. I know. It's uh, it's crazy. Yeah. Uh, how was your week? Uh, how was my week? Ah, my week was fine. Uh, work was the same as usual. Um, we're, I'm in the midst of like getting ready to do the big orders for next year, like getting the, they call, we're, they're called the bookings. So to buy the stuff for next year. So we have to do inventory beforehand to make sure we're getting what we need or whatever. Yeah. And, uh, I came back off my days off and the, I got an email about how they want to do inventory and like all, okay, we're going to do it like this way and that way and this way. We had a meeting about it. This is what we're going to do. I'm like, man, I'm a key fucking part of this. Like, why wasn't I there for this fucking meeting? Like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> so anyways, it's because you're a part timer. I, uh, I l looked at the email and I couldn't even understand what she was writing because she's just bad at everything. <laughs> so I had to like phone around to the other stores and ask like, what does this mean? Like, what is this part of this thing mean? And they'd be like, oh, that's what this means or whatever. And I'm like, wow. She did a very bad job explaining everything here. So, <laughs> yeah, whatever. So, we're working on that. And then, other than that, it was just, you know, I talked to my, the owner about uh, what's going on and everything. And, I mean, he didn't know what was going on. So, I was like, yeah, I've learned nothing and, like, whatever. <laughs> I was like, oh, we should have a meeting about this. I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. No, they have it without you. Whatever you say. <laughs> But then we were talking about some other stuff. Like, we had this guy working for us in the fishing department. And he, unfortunately, when we hired him, the boss was just like, okay, we'll just keep him in the fishing department. He can just do fishing, nothing else. It's busy time of year or whatever. Which was a mistake because he didn't know how to do anything else. And then when it was like the busy time was over, we'd be like, okay, you have to stock these shelves now. He would be just like, no, I'm in fishing. Be like, no, now you're stocking <laughs> shelves. So it was like a whole thing. Anyways, he... Finally, I don't know if he quit or was fired. It's hard. I mean, like he stopped showing up. Oh, okay. But then they're talking like he was fired. But I was like, why would we fire him if he stopped showing up? Anyways, because if we fire him, I guess it was fire with cause, but he could always claim for EI and then we're on the hook for it or whatever. <laughs> yeah. So he's gone and like he was not doing well. He was I mean, whatever. He, it was not doing a very good job in the fishing area with like we have our storage area and I'd go down there and it'd be just like all like I mean uh, it's it would be like you'd think like when you're working right and it's like okay I have a box and I have to take like five items out of it I got to put it on the shelf yeah oh I only have room for two items You'd think like, okay, let me rearrange, put the five items together. He would be like, no, I'll put two here and I'll put two over here and then I'll leave one in the box on the ground. <laughs> so they're just like spread out all over the storage area. You can't find anything. Yeah. So we're getting ready to do this, these orders. So I was like, I'm going to go down there and spend time straightening it up, figuring out what's down there or whatever. So I told the boss, I'm like, I want to get down there and do this. He's like, oh, it's so funny you say that. I was going to ask you to do the same thing. And I was like, <laughs> it's just terrible down there. So. I've been I did that a bit this week and that was fine. Yeah. I like that. Not really dealing with customers, but still doing some stuff on the floor. I did end up dealing with customers because they'd see me walking around carrying like stuff and they'd be like, Hey, do you work here? And be like, Yes. <laughs> 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 I do. Yes, I do. Yeah. But it was it was fine, so and then other than that, uh <sighs> didn't do anything else really. Played some games, played some Finished Spyro 2. Nice. The Patreon stream for heck. Um, it was a fun game. I found the end boss was much easier than the mid boss. Like, Scor you have to fight Ripto and Scorch. Yep. Scorch kicked the shit out of me, like, a bunch of times. <laughs> but then, like, 
at the end Ripto, I died, I think one time or two times maybe. So, but it's like for kids game, very unforgiving. I mean, it was like from the nineties. So yeah, game yeah. design has changed a lot. So it was like, like, and then like some of the like challenges are like, you have to like get these gems to unlock stuff, whatever. And it'd be like, man, how could a kid figure this out? Like, this was a kid's game and they put these challenges in here and it's like, holy fuck, that's pretty crazy. But you can also tell that they've made it easier than it was. It's even easier than it was in the 90s, especially some of these challenges. There's a part where you have to race this guy riding on a magic carpet. You have to get chase him to where he, he needs to go. Yeah. But he throws these bombs at you and the bomb is one hit, game over. You have to restart the race, right? <laughs> Wow. And in this one, he would wait for you. So you'd go ahead and he would stop. And then when you caught up, he'd move forward. But in the original version, he just kept going. So you had to keep running through. <laughs> and even with like him stopping and me being able to take my time, I still died a couple times. I can't imagine how hard it was originally when it was like you had to run full speed, getting bombed the whole time. If he gets too far away from you, it's game over. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so I beat that, and then I guess I'm playing part three next month oh, for nice. Patreon. So <laughs> uh, I played Dinkum last night. Ah, uh, Dinkum. Yeah, it's very Animal Crossing esque. I'm still like, I've only played multiplayer, so I have not done any progression in my own world. <laughs> and then on Wednesday I played uh, Grounded, and uh, we were just uh, what were we even doing? I don't even remember what we were doing. Just faffing about, basically. Having a faff? Having a faff. Uh, we investigated a weevil murder. Oh. It was a weevil murder. Oh. Yeah. We found a dead weevil, and it was like, what happened to this weevil? And we had, like, <laughs> we cordoned it off the whole area. <laughs> we were putting down, I put down, like, a, a, we, a weed stem to measure the distance between the body and the... the the weapon and stuff like that. <laughs> and then I was playing with Master of None, so she was writing notes down, like, oh, this guy returned to the crime scene. Like, maybe we better check out his <laughs> his motives or whatever. So it was pretty fun. <laughs> I don't think I we played anything else. His alibi. Right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. We found a, his weapon there and everything. So <laughs> it, was, it was a fun stream. That's cool. I don't think I played anything else, really. No? I don't think so. I can't think of anything. No, yeah, no, no, I don't know. I didn't play Vintage Story. Still waiting for the update. And I was, I streamed a few times last week. I was feeling, or this week, I guess. I was feeling good, so yeah, I could nice. stream. Not like the last couple weeks where it was just like, uh. <laughs> 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 I don't feel like even laying or getting out of bed. So, I got uh, Serena playing Vintage Story. Oh, really? Yeah, she was wow. like, "Hey, play Minecraft with me." I'm like, "Ah, no, I'll play Vintage Story with you though." And then she went out and bought it. And yeah. It's just like fully engrossed. I knew. I, yeah, dude. Because I, I was like, you're going to like this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Big like time. Like, I wonder how far she is. I don't know. She's playing on a, uh, a public server right now. Oh, crazy. Yeah. 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 She was she was having a real hard time setting up just because, you know. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, you're dead. Well, head back to spawn. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that part sucks. But yeah. uh, once you can set your spawn point, it's better. Yeah. I don't know if she's got uh, a fully set up yet. I'm, I haven't talked to her since. Uh, crazy. Cause I, was, I was gonna play it on Sunday with her. Yeah. But then I'm like, ah, oh, well, I could clean my house. Yeah. Instead. yeah. <laughs> Did you even buy it yet? I haven't bought it yet. No, no, no. No. Yeah. I can't wait for the update. It's gonna be good. So. What about you? How was your work week? Burping here. Sorry. Right. That's okay. <laughs> you gotta do it right in the microphone. Though. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, work week was. <laughs> It was work week. The boss wasn't there the entire oh, time. Oh, perfect. Love it. That's Except, great. Well, I mean, he's never there. Really, he must have but... heard what I said about him last week. <laughs> <laughs> but the first three days, he wasn't, uh, excuse me, he wasn't there at all. I just showed up to collect some things and went back home. What a guy. I know. Normally, he shows up twice to collect things and go back home. But like, this collect week, what thing? Once. What is he collecting? Uh, there's a whole thing I can't really talk about okay. that he's going through right now. Uh, and he's got to get some papers off his desk for it. But uh, yeah, I mean he, I mean he comes in the morning, and then leaves. And comes then in the morning to the yell at everybody, or what? Leaves. Comes in the morning to yell at everybody. No. Oh, okay. No. That's only, okay. Only me. Oh wow! Like <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. So I've essentially just been like, okay, well, I'm just going to do what I need to do to keep the company going. Yeah. I'm just going to talk to the people, the head office, get stuff yeah, going. Talk to his boss. Yeah, that's what I've been doing now. Yeah. Just be like, look, I'm the boss now. <laughs> yeah, maybe soon. 
maybe soon it'll happen. Yeah. But yeah, I've got a. I finally hired another office guy, so mm. he's starting on the twelfth of September, and I'm like, why so far from now? Oh, he's got to move from Vancouver. Oh. So yeah. I'm. Uh, Damn. I'm, I don't want to spoil who it is because. I just can't yet. What do you mean, spoil who it is? I, you know, I want to I ruin the surprise for the boys. I've oh already, my. I've already said too much. I've spoil already said too much. Spoil the surprise for the boys. Okay, yeah, I've already said too much. Interesting. They're listening. If if it was revealed to me, would I be like, oh, okay, or would no? I be you just wouldn't like, know who it okay. is. Okay, so. perfect. <laughs> All right. Well, they're and gonna figure it out. That's too they much might, they might figure it out. I've already said too much. Okay. Uh, got the VR room going. Damn. Kind of. Got that whole section moved out. I got the VR set up downstairs. Got all that kind of stuff nice. done. Tomorrow I'm going to go ham in the workroom. Get some tools cleaned out of there because I got too many tools. I got all these old tools and I'm buying new tools. And I'm like, I'm just going to stack all the tools and be like, okay, well, I got like three of these. Yeah, of these, I hate when that, that happens. Because, well, then you'll do that and be like, ah, damn it, I can't find my one of this. And you go buy another one. And they're like, <laughs> no, oh, there it is. I'll have, I'll have two of everything. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'll have two of everything. Uh, what else? Was there anything notable that happened at work? I had a meeting with the health and safety coordinator. Nice. Showing him all the stuff that happens on our side. And he's like, okay, we got to set up a meeting with the big boss so that you can show them how efficient it is over here. Oh, wow. And I'm like, yeah, okay, we can do that. I think I showed him our, our JIRA. Oh, yeah. And our confluence and his mind just exploded. And this was like after your boss was like, put it on a piece of paper, yeah. scan it. And send it over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he sounds like he's about from the 1890s. Uh, he is, yeah. for sure. He's almost 100, so. Yeah. <laughs> he just keeps getting older every show. It's crazy. Every show, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, new VR room set up. Going to build a VR PC. I've just out of old parts. Yeah. I've ordered some new parts because, of course, the streaming PC, I, I blew the, the USB 3.0 front port connection on oh, it. Oh, man. So, I needed to buy a new motherboard anyway, so I just bought one for the other Ryzen processor I have. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to make a VR PC out of whatever nice. I got sitting around. Nice, nice. And uh, what else was there? Oh, there was a going away party. Oh, yeah. One of our our placing crew guys is, mm-hmm. is leaving. He's going to BCIT for broadcasting. Oh, interesting. Which is, which is awesome. Okay. So we went out to chase to his uh-huh. cousin's place and had like a get together there oh yeah and so it's like a mix of family and co-workers mm-hmm. <laughs> it was pretty cool nice uh yeah he was like i shook his hand goodbye and he was like he just looked at me firm handshake and said thank you <laughs> <laughs> very good i'm like yeah that's good no doubt uh, yeah that's and then, cool uh, yeah there were there was a 3090 ti Founders Edition sitting uh-huh. in Best Buy. Uh huh. And and I just left it there. I was oh like, oh, wow! Twenty one hundred dollars. <laughs> Damn. I don't, I don't think I need a thirty ninety Ti. You don't Edition. need anything though. I sure don't. I want for nothing. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's not about needs. It's about wants now. Yeah. Do you want it? Uh, kind of, but yeah. you know, it's not. It's not something I super want. So it's not something I'm gonna buy. Okay. Unless, you know, somebody just hands me $2,500, like, here, this is for a 3090 Ti. Okay. And I'll be like, oh, can I spend on anything else? They'll be like, no. I'm it only has giving to be 3090. 3090 Ti. And then well, I'll be like, oh, well, if I have to, I guess. Twist my rubber arm. Yes. Okay. So twisty. <laughs> and uh, what else was there? I think that was just my week. Nice. I think that was my week. We're going out fishing later on because the salmon are jumping. Yes, they are. We're going to get, try and get some pink coho. Mm. I think going out past Ashcroft. Did you know there's been a stampede in Ashcroft town and everybody's coming from miles around? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. Nobody, I was not aware. Nobody who's under 40 or that is like not from this area would ever have heard that before. I don't know if I've ever heard that, that either. When we were a kids, I mean, I would watch... The cartoons after school and shit, like yeah, yeah. Teddy Ruxpin and stuff. Oh, and there yeah. was always a commercial for Stampede, Ashcroft Town, everybody's coming from miles around. Johnny and Billy Brown, everybody's coming to Ashcroft Town. <laughs> that sounds familiar when you're singing it proper, so yeah. uh, maybe I have heard it. Oh, yeah. Maybe I have. Yeah, you would have heard that in the Tom McCall one. Tom McCall, he's a great, great guy. Tom McCall. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember Tom McCall for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, Tom McCall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so... I'll pass Ashcroft, eh? I'll pass Ashcroft. Nice. 
Yeah, that's uh, the reason the guy that doesn't work for us anymore, he just stopped showing up because he was going fishing. Oh, well, there you go. He was like... I mean, he did work in the fishing department. I know, but he like the schedule was up and he was just like, oh, I'm going fishing on Friday. And we're like, oh, oh right, this, I remember. the schedule's already there. You have to... He's, you have to adhere to the schedule. He's like, well, I'm not going to be here. It's like, well, I'll try to find a substitute. Nope. And just didn't show up ever again. <laughs> it's like, all right. Well, yeah, we had a guy, one of the new guys, he had a class one license so he could drive the big, big yeah. trucks. And uh, he was, he had to call in on his first day because his car. Always a good sign. Down. Yeah. It's, we're like, oh, okay, this is an omen for sure. Had good feelings about him when we hired him. I was like, oh man, this guy's, this guy's pretty rad. Yep. And then, uh, on Monday, he got in the truck and he's like, okay, you need to go to Salmon Arm. So he ended up going towards uh, Merritt. Uh-huh. And I'm like, that's fine. He's from Alberta. He doesn't know BC. Yeah. So, you know, he's, he's new to Kamloops as well. So he's like, just, he doesn't know where to, how to get, get there. <laughs> he just totally drove the wrong direction. And he totally drove the wrong direction. And then he drove, and then he's like, okay, I'm, I'm coming. I'll be there soon. And he drives, turns around goes out past Dallas which uh-huh. and we have a crew working out there so they see him drive past and then they see him drive past again back into town he goes he parks the truck in front of the shop and then leaves he just goes home <laughs> yeah he haven't heard from him since he's so just, he's just like I'm done now yeah I, I don't want to go to Salmon Arm. I guess he just parked the truck that's so put weird shop keys inside and left that's so weird <laughs> that's so weird <laughs> I know we were like what Maybe he was so embarrassed that he drove the wrong way. He's just like, I can't face these dudes ever again. Uh, maybe. Crazy. Maybe. I mean, he seemed like he was going to be like the guy. That's crazy. But he's <laughs> not the guy. Wow. That's cool. <laughs> so we're going to be hiring. <laughs> <laughs> That's so crazy. I know. If you've got a class three license or better, uh, look for the ad. It's like... Your work and seem oh drive by. It's like am I in a situation comedy drives by again? <laughs> it's like, what the hell? That's crazy. Yes. Oh well. Yeah, it was it was weird. No it kidding. Was weird. 